Hi folks, Paul here again. I uh, just wanted to let you know that I will be at the next Wellington Maker Fair, which is coming up on the 20th of October 2019. I was at the last year's Maker Fair in Wellington, had a really good time, met a lot of people, talked about power walls for eight hours solid. So this time I'm going to be showing some of my power wall stuff, my battery stuff, and then I'll also have the leaf petals which clip into the rim to create aero wheels and the brand new design strut covers which I think will work better than the previous design actually with these I've printed 20 of them so if you own a Nissan leaf and come to make a fair I will be giving these away so if you want one come and say hi uh, I'll be showing off the OBD2 port plug-in things that fit in where the old electronic tool connection system used to live. So I'll have some of those as well. And the latest project is adding a state of charge meter to this 2011 Nissan Leaf. The very first version of the Leaf 2011-2012 they didn't have state of charge shown on the main dash so it was really you had to kind of rely on the gesso meter which is a, a complete waste of time so it's really useful to have, to know the state of charge and previously I had been using leaf spy but it's a bit awkward you've got to have a phone that clips onto the dash somewhere and you've got to remember to charge the phone or have it charging all the time and what happened with my phone is it stopped, the Bluetooth stopped connecting to my dongle. Don't know why. So I resorted to this this thing here, which is a, a little Arduino Pro Mini bit of code talking to the um, to a CAN bus module that then talks to the car. And uh, the, the software that I found was using a 16 by 2 display. So um, I rewrote the code to talk to an OLED display. Um, this one's a little bit small. I've got on order a, a slightly larger one that will fill this space a bit, a bit better. Um, it will be easier to read the small stuff. But apart from that, it works really nicely. It solves the problem, especially when you're really low. If the, the gesso meter's flashing at you, you really do need the state of charge um, to know how, how much you've got left in the battery but it fits in there really nicely it fills up some space that wasn't being well used and uh, it just works it's, a, it's the right sort of colour I'm quite happy with the way that's turned out uh, at the moment it's just held on with black electrical tape and you can hardly tell depending on where the light is coming from it looks pretty good oh and if you're in Wellington come to Maker Fair 20th of October 2019. Alright, cheers!